Welcome back, friends. I hope you're having a great time so far. I know I am. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to draw the features of the horse, which are the eye, the ears, the nostrils, and we're also going to be working on the halter. My drawing might look different from last time's episode because I erased all my drawing lines that helped me get the correct size, shape, and location. I like to start with the eye because the eye is the most important part of the horse. It's the personality of the horse. As you can see, there's a, I left a light circle here of our location from our last episode. When I lay in a horse's eye, I like to tell my students, I want you to think about a fish shape, a little tail coming out. A little tail here, a little tail there. As we talked about in the last episode, the horse's eye is very round and sticks out from the head. We want to create the illusion of that with our lines. So I am going to add a V shape here and a lower lid down here. Next, I like to add the iris, a round circle, an upper lid, and this little bit of a lower lid. Now the horse's pupil is not like ours, which is round. It is a rectangle. And the reason it's a rectangle is so that the horse can see in front of him and behind him. It also lets in less light from above and below. So this pupil allows the horse to see all around him even when he's grazing, he doesn't have to lift his head. At this time, I want you to add a line here. This is part of the bony structure that is almost always visible in a portrait. A line down from the eye and a little hook like this. Another part of the bony structure that is very prevalent in a portrait. We're going to add more detail when we're doing the shading. We're going to go down to the nostril. Remember, I made a D shape last time. I'm going to add more detail to that nostril. Now, the horse's nostril is very complex. And I have to tell you that I learned more about the anatomy of the nostril when I was learning to groom horses. When you groom horses, you have to clean out all the dust and all the mucus and all the stuff out of the nose. And <laughs> you might say, oh, gross. But it's a great way to learn the anatomy of inside the nose, which will make your drawings superior. There's a ledge here that usually catches the light. Now, in Arabian horses, the nostrils are usually very large. I'm going to add that ledge and just a couple of lines here to indicate that there's going to be shading there. Let's go up to the ears. When I teach people how to draw the horse's ears, I like to use a piece of fabric and fold it. And it helps us remember that the ears of the horse are not just a triangle. They are a folded, soft piece of the anatomy. I'm going to add this shape here, which is like a petal of a flower. It comes down, and again, at the bottom, this is where we fold. The ear doesn't sit at the top of the horse's head. It comes down all the way to about here. That's why I like you to do this line, because it brings us up to the ear. While I'm here, I'm going to add a little bit of the forelock. Mm. 
Okay. Let's talk about the halter now. So if you ride, it's a good thing to study the structure of it. When we know the structure of something and have it memorized, it can make our drawing a lot easier. So last time we just did an indication of the location of the halter. Now we're going to draw it in more detail. The halter goes behind the horse's ears. So I'm going to bring a line down for the bottom cheek piece. I'm going to look here at the nose band. So with the nose band, you'll see I'm not going to just stop here at the edge of the horse's nose. This piece goes around, as if you were drawing something around a sphere. Keep that in mind, and your drawing won't be too flat. I'm going to draw a line for the upper part of the nose band and the lower part of the nose band. Again, we don't have to worry about it being perfect. Here is usually a brass buckle. When you draw the brass buckle, it really makes a portrait pop. It's very impressive. People love to see those brass buckles. So I'm going to draw the other line of the cheek piece now. I'm going to look at the eye and measure. Let's make sure our location is correct. Again, I'm not worried if this is perfect yet, because I'm going to erase lines that I don't like. It's important to remember that on the outside of the nostril are a lot of folds of skin. So I like to make a line here and here, outside the shape we made earlier. And we'll talk more about that when we do our shading. So now that we have the basic structure of our features and our halter drawn on our horse, it's a good time to step back and take a look at it. This is a good break point. Your eyes need that break. So embrace those errands that you have to run. Feel free to go get the kids at school, eat something, and when we come back, we'll begin making our horse look very three-dimensional. See you soon. Mm -hmm.